Knight Klee of the Knights of Favonius reporting for duty. There's some more, but, uh, I forgot. I'm not so good at remembering. Klee was a brave girl today. I found a really weird looking lizard. Want me to show it to you? Do you want to come fish blasting with me? I'll get grounded for a whole day, but it's way worth it because the fish tastes so good. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people. Gin can be dreadful. Mondstadt be bombed. Klee be doomed. Those are the survival rules that the Knights of Favonius gave me. <laughs> Lucky all my new bombs are waterproof. Why'd I blow up? Oh, wait, it's just thunder and lightning. Whew. Dear Animal God, please make Klee's bombs blow in the right direction and only blow up bad guys. The end. Good morning. Can I come play with you today? Please? I want to go on an adventure. Lunchtime. What do you want to eat today? Let me see if the Tibet Travel Guide has any suggestions. Good evening. Can you please tell Hoffman that Klee is not a baby and is definitely allowed out to play at night? Please take me out to play together. Hey, um, I know I said I don't want to go home and all, but now it's nighttime and I can't find my way home in the dark. Can you please take me home on your way back? Please? Oh, I broke one of the blades on the windmill. I'm really sorry. I'm really good at fixing things, though. I can help. Huh? What do you mean that's child labor? What even is child labor? Does that mean I can't help? <laughs> You're an honorary knight, but I've been a spark knight longer. That means I'm higher up than you, right? So you have to do what I say. So, um, can, can you not say anything about the big disaster I caused? It was an accident. No, it's only nine o'clock. I'm staying up to watch the Cirque du Special Midnight Performance. You were supposed to be my best friend. Don't even think about trying to send me home. <laughs> this little marble is supposed to be a present from Barbados to say well done? Well done for what, though? Hmm. He is the god of freedom, I guess. Maybe that's why he likes me. All right. From now on, I'll say thank you to Barbados by showing that I have the freedom to blow up as many fish as I want. Am I doing it right? At the Knights of Favonius building, you're not allowed to blow up the walls. Shame. It would make getting out of solitary confinement way easier. But if I did so much as try to blow up the wall, Jean would make sure Clean never sees the light of day again. That's what Jean said. Kaya told me. Every lizard has a different pattern on his back, and some of them you can use their dried out tails to make gunpowder with. I know, because Albedo told me so. Razor's one of my best buddies. Whenever a disaster happens, he always knows the best way to fix it and helps keep Klee safe. Um, but most of the time, I'm the one who caused the disaster. My mom and dad are the famousest travelers in Tibet. Mom writes the Tibet travel guide so all the restaurants and hotels in the whole world care what she thinks about them. Kaya is the best! He wrote the Favonia survival rulebook for me, and he always helps me cover it up when I make a big disaster. Amber is the best! Baron Benny is so fluffy, and he even explodes! So cool! Master Jean is the best, but she's also a little bit scary. He's one of the weird grown-ups. He's so grumpy all the time. Why does he never smile? Lisa is the best. She always sneaks me some treats when I visit her at the workshop. Huh. I just remembered I was going to ask her if I could use the workshop to make some new gunpowder. But I totally forgot. 
Bennett is the best. I always find way more treasure if I go adventuring with Bennett. But he never finds any. Why is that anyway? Diona is the best. I like listening to her. Last time I heard her say, <clears throat> I'm going to destroy the wine industry in this city if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> and I'm going to help her using my bombs. I don't know what a wine industry is, though. Is it a monster? Me and Alvedo have a secret code. Whenever he puts a sign on his workshop door saying experiment in progress, that's code for come back later, Clee. Alvedo's really nice, and he's so patient with me, so I don't mind waiting until he's finished with his work. Mona is the best. It's so much fun when she comes to play with me and Alvedo. She talks about all these amazing things, and I don't understand most of it, but... Oh, I just love it when Mona comes around. Sucrose is the best! This one time she asked me if I wanted a Jumpy Dumpty that can run as well as jump. <laughs> well, duh! Of course I do! I want hundreds of them. I want to put them on every street, every staircase, and every square in Mondstadt. Hello, are you here for playtime with Klee? Yeah, this is my new and improved bomb. What do you think? Great, huh? Oh, but uh, if you find it near any fires, it's not mine. Definitely not mine. Hmm, sure. Time in solitary confinement give lots of time to think about new gunpowder formulas. But it'd still be better to not be in solitary in the first place. This is Todoko, my oldest and bestest friend. Okay. Now I've introduced you, don't forget her name again, all right? No more calling Dodoko. That silly doll Klee always hangs on her rucksack. Thanks for helping me out every time I get in trouble. I have a thank you present for you. Barbecued fish made with my own secret recipe. Okay, so the secret recipe is exploding the fish out of the water. <laughs> They're fully cooked by the time they land. But it's a secret, right? So you don't get to tell anybody. Just pretend like you don't even know. I like things that are fluffy, like dodoko and dandelions and razor's hair. <sighs> You're a good person, but I'm a bad girl. Once I'm out of solitary confinement and I'm done reflecting on my actions, we can go play together again, okay? Mondstadt's basses are delicious, especially the ones you grab yourself from Cider Lake. I'm not even kidding, even my mom thinks so. I hate, hate, hate Mondstadt's crabs, all of them. I wanna go out and play. I don't wanna just sit there trying to de-shell a crab all day. Yummy, yummy! Oof, I'm so full! Yay! I got to eat something tasty today! I'm so happy! Thank you! Mm, it looks yummy, but it's kinda hard work to eat. <laughs> How about you help me? Pretty please? Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear traveler. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> You're older than me, right? That means you've had way more birthdays than me. <sighs> I'm so jealous. Hmm. New bomb research complete. Now let's get out of here before Jean finds out. Ah, yeah! I improved again! But, as Jean says, continuous self-improvement is one's duty. She says that means I'm allowed to be a bit happy about it, but not the most happy I've ever been in my whole life about it. Thanks for helping me gather so much stuff for my research! If you ever want to learn how to make a bomb, I can teach you, you know. I remember the first time I ever 
never heard an explosion. I wasn't scared at all. Later on, I found out that apparently that's not normal and most people would have been scared. But hey, you're not scared of my bombs, right? <laughs> I knew it! That's why you're my bestest friend ever!